before we get started, we need to set our syntax to HTML or go to view and then look for syntax and select HTML. First, I'll type HTML and then click tab and then on your title, let's create JavaScript basics. And I'll start from the simplest form, which is the P tag or the paragraph tag. And I'm going to set this is an example of JavaScript. Next is to set the script tag, type in script, and then press tab. There, delete the type. Let's insert at the center between this opening and closing time. So let's use alert method. So an alert method is used to display an alert box with a message and an OK button. So most likely, an alert method is used when you want information to come through to the user. So when you save this file, okay, it ends with a semicolon. Now, when we save this file, most likely, uh, once you open it, an alert box will appear. So we have to properly save this one in a folder and then make sure that we type in input our name or the name and then if we open our file to a browser, an alert box will appear. So this is how alert bo box works. So click OK, the paragraph will also appear. So this paragraph on top. Now let's create a new file and then we have to set again this one to an HTML. And this time, we are going to make an external JavaScript. I'll insert the paragraph tag again. So we use the P, opening and closing tag. And then this time, I'm going to set this one to be an external. So that when the box or alert box will appear, this one will also appear after we click OK. And the differences between the two is that the external JavaScript can be inserted on the top of this head. So let's set uh, it script and then followed by the source. Now just this type, you should have to leave it um, as it is and then the source will be still a question. Meaning that we still do not know the file name of this external. So I'm going to save this one and then I'll set this one to an HTML. So make sure that this file is set to an HTML. The next thing that I would do is that I'm going to create a new file. Okay. And this one, this will be a JavaScript file, not an HTML file. So make sure that the syntax is JavaScript. So I'm going to make use now of an alert method. And then I'm going to insert a word that will appear if the box will of course run in your web browser. So this is an example of an external JavaScript. So it ends with a semicolon. And then if you notice this part, when you change this one to JavaScript, the color changes and it creates the syntax to be in a JavaScript form. Now save this file. Okay, it should be saved on the same folder. So make sure and at the same time the file format is just the same. You can name it whatever you want. Save the file. And then the name of that JavaScript file should be indicated on the source. So the name is here, JavaScript one, the JS. And then we can set this one, our external one, to .js. Meaning to say we are calling the file JavaScript. So save the file. And then make sure that this one is also saved properly. I'm going to resave this one. So we have there the file and then I'm just going to resave it. So make sure it is a JavaScript file, the same folder. Okay, it should be on the same folder. Same. And then open your browser and then open the file. Once you open the file, it will call for the JavaScript file. So this way, it means that this file is connected to the, that JavaScript file. Okay, so that's it for now. That's the basic of JavaScript.